Hello and welcome. Today I would like to introduce to you our Ncubes dataset DigFix. This dataset DigFix is suitable for most N species and is available in our standard sizes S, M and L with a plate spacing of 6, 10 and 20 mm. The special feature about it is the DigFix plate that is inserted into the ant farm. Here the ants can create chambers and passages according to their own needs. These chambers and passages do not collapse and are very well visible for the ant owner. The DigFix plates can be used dry and without humidification, depending on the ant species. They are also moisture absorbing and store the moisture very well, so they are also suitable for species from very humid habitats. Even species that build their nests in dead wood or cork accept the DigFix plates as an alternative nest building option. First of all, here we have the arena, which is the outworld area where the animals can get food and water and also deposit the waste from the nest. The arena is provided with an escape protection frame as well as a glass cover for removable plugs. Other modules, for example for climate control, can be plugged in here later. As the farm we use the size M 20 by 20 cm with an inner plate distance of 10 mm. Depending on the choice of the set, the farm is also available in the size S with 6 mm or size L with 20 mm inner plate spacing. To connect the end farm with the arena, we use this transparent hose, which is connected to the arena via a basin hose connector. Then here we have the soil, sand loam beige, which is used to slightly coat the arena floor. Other equipment include a thermohygrometer to control the temperature and humidity. Also the anti-breakout oil, a sponge to apply the anti-breakout oil on the frame, a standard food mix set for the most common species, a drinker, a food dispenser, a magnifying glass to better look at the ends in detail, a spring steel tweezers to grab the animals, a plastic tweezers to grab solid objects or waste and a pipette to moisten. Then here is the grid insert 50 mm with a plug 50 mm for the cover a 27 mm plug for the side of the arena, a cap for the side of the ant farm, a red cover sheet to give the ants an underground feel, and of course the DigFix plate. How the whole set is assembled I will show you next. First of all we fill the arena with the substrate sand loam beige. It should be noted that we fill only a very thin layer of 1 to 2 mm. If there is too much substrate, there is a risk that the animals will burrow into the arena and not move into the designated farm or nest area. Now we carefully push the DigFix nest plate into the farm. This should be done very slowly and carefully because the material is very brittle. Now we connect the basin hose connector to the side of the arena. Then we insert the hose into the connector and slide the other end of the hose onto the farm's connector socket to connect it to the arena. With the single 27mm plug and the cap we close the remaining openings on the arena and the farm. Now I fill the drinker with water and add food to the food dispenser. I place these in the front of the arena because this is the best way to check if the drinker is empty, there is enough food or if the food dispenser may need cleaning. When the arena is ready, attach the thermohygrometer to the bottom of the frame. To do so, simply remove the protective foil of the adhesive surface. Make sure that the thermohygrometer is attached to the inner edge of the frame and not to the outer edge. Otherwise, the frame will not fit on the arena. Attention, there is only one gluing attempt, because the glue holds extremely well and is difficult to remove. We now coat the frame with the breakout protection oil. You can use our included sponge for this or you can use a household cloth or your finger to apply it. Now we put the frame on the rubberized edge of the arena. Check again if everything fits tight. Theoretically, the formicarium is already safe so that no ant can escape. To be on the even safer side, we have a glass cover with two interchangeable inserts. The grid insert provides for the air exchange in the arena. 
Depending on which end species is intended for the set, the nest can be humidified. To do this, briefly remove the cap of the ant farm and add a few drops of water via a pipette. For the first humidification without animals, you can simply remove the farm lid. Make sure that no waste or food remains of the animals are stored in the permanently damp area, as this could lead to mold growth. Now the set is ready and we can insert a suitable ant colony. Carefully open the nest tube with the animals and slowly place it into the arena. The ants can now explore their new home and get some food. In the first days, the ants usually close their nest tube with some of the soil. They do this because they do not know if any predators are around and feel safer that way. When the ants have moved out of the test tube, we can take it out of the arena. To make the chambers and passages more visible, we recommend attaching the supplied red foil in the front of the nest area. Depending on the ant species, we offer various climate control equipment that can be plugged in through the openings in the arena cover. Possible options are for example a light, a fogger or a fan. You can also attach a heating mat on the back side of the arena. I hope the video was helpful and interesting. Thanks for watching.